campers the stun from dawn stepping thoughts to nut and today we're going to make this card this is one that we made at my club night this past saturday night and it's a wobble head let me show you how that works i'm going to show you how to make the wobble head also but i got the idea from my club girl terry when she gave me this card at the last club meeting and everybody went crazy over it and they said we don't even have to make the shaker card we just want to make the cute little wobble head so I just revamped the whole card. So that's what we made at club night. So I wanted to show you Terry's card, how cute. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's start with the measurements. I'm using the cherry cobbler, and this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then you're gonna double this if you want to make the inside, which I went ahead and stamped the inside. And the crumb cake is cut at four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And then the Whisper White for the front is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then I'm using a piece of window sheet and then also a piece of the Candy Cane Lane designer paper. And these are both cut at two and three quarter by two and three quarter. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and use our Big Shot. Today I'm using the Layering Circle Framelits. And we're going to place it on the left hand side. And remember, I want to put a piece of washi tape on the bottom. So I want to have enough space at the bottom and then also enough space over here to stamp a grating. So we're going to put that right there. That looks pretty good. Okay, then I'm going to use a piece of crumb cake. I'm going to use the next size up in the scallop. And we're going to also cut out the center because this is going to be like the frame around the the window for the Santa. Okay, so this is the piece that we want. Okay, so let's go ahead and move the big shot. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and layer the frame over top of this cutout here. All right, now we're going to take some cherry cobbler cardstock and we're going to use the cookie cutter builder punch and we're going to cut out the body of the Santa, which is the gingerbread body. And then also we're going to cut out two of the three quarter inch circle punches, cut out two of those. Okay, then we're going to take the jolly hat punch and we're going to punch out just the hat part. Okay, then I'm going to use the confetti hearts and I'm just going to punch out, I only need one, but I'm going to punch out a cluster of them, I guess, one time. Okay, so here's our pieces that we need. These are going to be for the, the action wobble part of the card. And now we're going to take our gingerbread part and I'm going to have him peeking out through the, the little window or the circle. So I'm going to put adhesive on the back side over here. Just kind of stick him in there with his arms hanging over the, the ledge a little bit. Super cute. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and stamp. Okay, so we're using three stamp sets on this card. For the inside, we're using the Wonderful Year. And this greeting says, May your Christmas be merry and bright. And then for the front of the, the card, we're using Spread Some Christmas Cheer. And that's from the Tin of Tags. Then we're using the Jolly Friends with this cute little Santa face. And then remember, this also comes in a bundle with the Jolly Hat Punch. So you can get them together and save 10%. Okay, so we're going to stamp the greeting. And we're going to use the Cherry Cobbler Classic Ink. I'm going to stamp this Spread Some Christmas Cheer over to the right-hand side of this little window. So I'm going to take some washi tape and I'm going to run this. This is from the Candy Cane Lane Suite, which is the Candy Cane Designer Washi Tape. I'm just going to layer that right at the bottom. Just like that. Take that. And just wrap that around to the back. Okay. 
Okay, then we're going to take another piece of the washi tape. Let me show you what I did. So I took a piece of Whisper White and I layered the washi tape onto the Whisper White piece. And you want this long enough so you can at least punch it. Or you can take your scissors and you can flag the end. Just like that. I just took my one inch square punch like this. Let me show you on this end here. And then you just flag the end. Okay, and then of course you want to trim this out. So it's exactly the size for the card that you want. Okay, so it looks like that. Then you're just going to trim this down. And then I'm going to put this onto the, the card. Up here. And I'm just going to position it, but I'm going to also cut that down because I don't need it that long. So I'm just going to flip it over and cut that. Okay, so that's how I did that. Okay, so now we're going to add the window. Now, I made so many of these cards getting ready for club night. I wanted to kind of get an idea of what I wanted to make. And I had tried adding the designer paper right to the back like that. And it needed to be popped up most definitely. Even though we didn't make it into a shaker card, the Santa, with him popping out like over the window, I just felt like it needed some depth to that circle on the back. So even though we didn't make it into a shaker card, we still used the window sheet and a piece of designer paper. And let me show you how I did that. Okay, so we're just going to flip this over, and I'm going to put adhesive on the back of the gingerbread, and then around the circle. Okay, and we're going to take our window sheet, just layer that right onto that. Now, let me show you another card that I made, exactly the same as this one, but I used the little elf. <laughs> Isn't he cute? And I wanted to show you both of them to give you an idea that you don't have to just make the Santa, but the elf is really cute too. I was gonna make the moose, but I didn't quite get that far. But I wanted to show you both of them because I used dimensionals on this one, and then I used the adhesive strips on the back of this one. And really, they're, they're the exact same card. But you can feel the, I guess this one's a little bit higher than this one, okay? All right, so it's up to you if you want to use dimensionals or the adhesive strips. So I'm going to use the adhesive strips today okay, with you. Okay, so you're going to take your adhesive strip, and I'm just going to put the adhesive strip. Let me see here. Okay, so we're going to put it right next to the window, just like that. And I think I used two or three of the strips. This one was partially used. I'm going to put this one right here. Not put it there. I mainly just want this piece of designer paper to be popped up. So that's why I'm putting it around the window. But then again, you want to put it on the rest of the card because you don't want it to be kind of squishy when you're holding it. And once you make this card, you'll know what I mean by being squishy. <laughs> okay, so you get the idea. You want to cover that with either the adhesive strips or the dimensionals. Either one will work. And then we're just going to peel this off. Now, if you wanted to make this into a shaker card, you would be putting your inside stuff into the shaker part. And, of course, you'd want to make that really enclosed really well so it doesn't fall out. But this would be the time to put that shaker goodies inside of the circle part. Okay, then I'm going to take the Candy Cane Lane designer paper, and I'm just going to layer that right over top of that circle. Okay, so now you can tell, hopefully it shows up on camera, how when you're putting the adhesive strips or the dimensionals on the back side and making that pop out, the Santa Claus looks like he's really like leaning over like through a window. I love that. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and pop this up on the crumb cake piece. Okay, so now we're all ready to go ahead and make the wobble part of the card in the Santa face. So let me show you what I did for that. Okay, so I'm using this shimmery white cardstock, and it's perfect for watercoloring because that's what we're going to do. And of course, the watercoloring is perfect with the stays on because it's waterproof. 
and we're going to stamp our Santa. And you'll notice I stamped him twice already, but I wanted to give you a little tip on your aqua painter here. So I'm just going to stamp them three times. And this is more like a practice sheet. So when you're watercoloring, you can get a kind of a feel on how you want your Santa to look. So we're going to use the two colors. We're using Blushing Bride and Smoky Slate. And the Smoky Slate, I added some refill to the lid because it wasn't because normally when you're watercoloring with your ink pads, you squeeze the lid to the back and the ink transfers to the pool right here, but my smoky slate wasn't transferring very good. Okay, so we're going to use the aqua painters, and when you purchase these, you get two in a package. We're going to use the smaller tip, and then there's a, a wider tip brush. Either one will work, but I'm just going to use the, the finer tip one. And let me get a napkin. Okay, so you're going to squeeze, so this barrel right here on screws, and you'll put tap water into your barrel of your aqua painter. Screw that back on, and then you're just going to squeeze this part of the barrel, and then your water is going to flow through the brush. Now, depending on how much water you have, will depend on how bright or dark or even light your Santa face will be. So I wanted to show you that. That's why I stamped them three times. Okay, so for a more condensed look for when you're coloring, you don't want too much water on your brush. And this will be a little bit more brighter when you're coloring because there's not that much water on your brush. Okay, and then you want to clean between each color so it doesn't transfer, especially if you're using darker colors. Okay, so then we're going to go to the smoky slate. And you can see how much brighter and darker the smoky slate is with less water on your brush. Okay, so now we're going to try it with a little bit more water. And really, it's just a matter of playing with it and seeing what version you like better. So this one has a little bit more water, so it's going to be a little bit lighter shade of the Blushing Bride. Now remember, the top of his head is going to be covered with the Santa hat, so kind of start there. When you first start coloring them. Okay, so now the smoky slate and the shimmery white cardstock is really nice for water coloring because it's a little bit thicker cardstock plus it gives it a little shimmer. I like it. Because see now this one has a little bit more water but you get the idea. More water the lighter the shade less water the darker. Okay. Okay, so I guess I just needed to do two of them. But I went ahead already and cut one out. So you will hand cut that out. I'm going to set these aside. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make our little wobble or action wobbles. These are the ones that I made for my club girls. So instead of it's it takes a lot of time when you have like an event and you have more than 10 people there. So I thought I'd just go ahead and do the wobbles for them to kind of cut that down on the time. So I went ahead and did those for them so they'll be excited about that. Okay, so I have some wire and I just bought this at my local craft store. And I think it's like 18 or 22 gauge, maybe even 30 gauge. Okay, so what I did is I'm going to take my paper piercing tool. You can use a marker or a pencil. And I'm going to wrap this around the space four times. Okay. And then we're just going to cut that down. And this wire is thin enough so you can use your regular scissors, which is great. Okay, so then I'm just going to kind of swoosh that together and then pull that off of the paper piercing tool. So then you have your little spring. Hopefully that's showing up on camera like that. Okay, so now I found that you could make this wobble with washi tape or scotch tape, but for my club I really thought using the hot glue gun would be the best. So that's what we're going to use today. Okay, so I got my craft sheet here 
And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little dab of the glue. Now be careful, this is really, really hot. And I'm going to take one of the ends of the wire and I'm going to swoosh it around in the glue and then just hold it there just for a couple seconds. And then do the other circle. Okay, then we're going to take this and we're going to do the same thing on this end. Swoosh it around in the glue, make sure it gets down in there good, and then just let that set to dry. Super easy. Okay, so now we're going to take our Santa hat and I'm going to grab some Whisper White. I'm going to punch out the rim. Got to punch that out. We're going to build our little Santa hat. Then this is going to go on to our little Santa face. Isn't he cute? I like kind of tilting the hat on his head. Okay, then we're going to take a little Jingle Bell. And these are in the holiday catalog right now. And there's red and silver. I'm going to take a silver one. And once again, we're going to take our glue gun. Dab a little glue on the tip of the hat. And then put the bell, the little Jingle Bell. I'm trying to find the, the bottom edge. There it is. Just drop it right on the glue. So cute. Okay, so now we're going to go over here and we're going to put adhesive on the gingerbread base. Just like that. And then we're going to take our little wobble, action wobble. I'm going to put that right in the center of the gingerbread. Now before we go any further, because since we have that bell on, I'm going to put this onto the cherry cobbler base. Okay. there. Okay, then we're going to put the adhesive on the back of the Santa's face. And then this is going to get stuck to the little wobble part. Look, the bell even jingles a little bit. How cute. And you can actually adjust the, the little spring in there for him to be up more or up higher like this. <laughs> He's so cute. All right, now let's go ahead and finish the card. We're going to stamp the inside. So I have the piece of Whisper White. I'm going to bring back in the Cherry Cobbler. And then I have a little cluster of stars here. And this is from the Tin of Tags stamp set. It's right there. And what else is nice, too, with the photopolymer, you can curve it to go over your greeting, which is what I did for this one. Okay, super cute. Just like that. Super cute. Okay, so let's add our little heart to the top. Okay, and then we can add some glitter. We probably should have done that first. We're going to use the fine tip glue pen. I'm just going to scribble across his little hat on the white rim. And then also dot the little snowflake and dots along the greeting. Okay, so let's bring in the Dazzling Diamonds. Super cute. Okay, so there's the Santa. And then here's the other one. And then the little elf. This is using the Emerald Envy cardstock and ink for him. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.